What's up, YouTube? I've been sitting back for a few months now, and I've been looking at this whole cop shoot people thing unfold. And my thing is, right, you're going to say that cops are going to shoot you, and cops are going to profile you, and all that kind of shit. Why put yourself in certain situations that will make your situation worse? This thing with this camera phone, right, this, this whole camera phone issues of people getting shot and they only had cameras in their hands. My thing is, you know what has been happening to people previously. Why are we putting ourselves into the same shoes expecting different? First of all, let me say this. As a young black man in this country, and I'm not playing a race card, I'm just going off of what I've been seeing for the past few months. If you think that you're expected to be guilty already when you get pulled over by a cop, here's the thing. Pulling out a camera phone while a cop tells you to put your hands up or to put your hands somewhere other than in your pockets, in your jacket. Why pull out a camera phone? I don't know if that makes sense to you, but if I'm a cop, you're a person, civilian. If I come up to you and say, uh, sir, I, I suspect you of doing something or even if it, I don't suspect you of anything, if it's a random traffic stop, if I come up to you and I say, you know, um, for your safety and mine, I would like you to keep your hands out of your pocket. For some reason today, everybody thinks proving a point on social media is the biggest factor. If a cop tells you to put your hand on a car, what the fuck are you trying to stick your hand in your pockets to get a camera phone out for to get a few views on YouTube? Like you're telling me that you're going to get shot to try to prove a point that's not necessarily there. If you're innocent, most of the times, I'm I'm not going to say all the time, I'm going to say most of the time, if you're innocent, you're innocent. I've been pulled over by cops plenty of times. I've been pulled over for whatever reason it is, because I have dreads, tattoos, because I'm black, whatever. But if I get pulled over, my first reaction is not to act like a Negro, start cursing, start throwing shit. The last thing I'm going to be thinking about is me pulling out a camera phone after I have gotten certain instructions from... A lawman it's just common sense put your hands on the car all right whatever I'm innocent whatever you go do your search whatever you're not gonna find shit I go on my way whatever the reason is I don't know what the cop is thinking I don't care whatever he's doing his job I'm doing my job as a civilian by not being guilty of anything right put your hands on the fucking car put your hands up take your hands out your pocket it's not worth your life we continue to see this shit of all these people getting shot over this issue. So you knowing this already, you're aware of this already. Why are you going to do the same exact thing and you're going to expect different results? Follow instructions. I'm not saying you're you're not being a bitch. You're, you're not being a sucker or all that. But again, we continue to see this shit. Like we see this every day. If I'm a cop and I tell you to do something, and you do something different. Like if I see you pulling anything out of your pocket, your mind is going to automatically think the first, I don't know what you're doing. If I see you pull out something black out of your pocket, which is most likely going to be a, a phone or whatever it is, I'm going to think because I told you not to do something, I'm going to think you're doing something that you're not supposed to do. If I see something black come out of your pocket, I might think it's a gun too. And I'm speaking from a civilian point of view. So to avoid the situation, Chill out with the fucking phones. If you want to pull your phone out just to kind of tell you how this shit works, you have to pull your phone out before the cop tells you to do something else. You can pull your phone out and say, um, when the cop comes up to you, you can say, oh, I'm going to record this conversation for the safety of me and for the safety of you. I mean, I watch cops all the time, so I see this shit happen. Some people are fucking crazy. I have seen people pull out guns and pull out knives, so I'm not saying that these killings are justified when, when cops do shoot innocent people. I I will never say that. It's, it's that quote that somebody, I forgot who it was, that said that if you're going to keep doing something and expecting different results, you're insane. We're seeing this shit happen. We're seeing innocent people get killed over pulling out phones. So why are... Why are people that are still living, why are you going to test the waters and expect different? That's insanity. And I'm just being honest. It's just like people in Afghanistan or whatever. Not everybody's a terrorist. If if a, a, a soldier pull, um, say something to you, if you're not innocent, you're not going to flip out. You're not going to, oh, holly hot bar. You're not going to flip out. 
for the sakes of our young black men and whoever else, young white men, for the sakes, if a cop tells you not to put your hand in your fucking pocket, don't put your hand in your fucking pocket because you may just get shot. It's just my opinion, but my opinion it kind of strays over to a factual aspect because that is speaking of what is happening and is reality. Don't be stupid. Save your own life. Um, whoever else, save your own life. Just be smart about shit. And I'm just trying to save a life because I'm honestly tired of seeing people getting shot over and then when you get 10 bullet holes in your head, then you you a fucking phone falls out of your hand like it's pointless to me so this is just my opinion this is just a little video if you like the video um share your comments um hit the like button tell me what you think and until next time i will see you guys